Hi everyone, welcome to your latest planning outlook that's updated on Friday the 12th of June. Very slow moving weather patterns will be around through this weekend and early next week. Within that, a warm and humid atmosphere developing and the recipe for some thundery downpours pretty extensively, although will be very hit and miss from day to day. Indications just favouring higher pressure and starting to nudge its way in as next week goes on. I'll just start off with a run through the big picture of weather across Britain and Europe over the next few days just to show you what's going on and it's really all just moving around very slowly. The centre of low pressure that is at the moment just to the south and southwest of Britain spinning around and really not moving anywhere fast. High pressure is trapping it towards the north and west. The jet stream really isn't in the picture at the moment so it's all just going round in circles in the situation where we are at the moment. Various bits of fronts coming around and some instability coming in off central parts of Europe will just add to some moisture and some varied local areas of showers through the weekend and into the start of next week as well. This is Monday, a slack zone of low pressure and some heavy downpours in the picture and a similar story breaking out again through Tuesday daytime. Just an indication then through midweek that uh, high pressure begins to nudge its way in from the west and that's Wednesday when the greater amount of thundery activity is much more across the continent. So not a great time for getting detail or even confidence in the day-by-day -day forecast, but the general message of some rain and some heavy showers and low cloud will be the one that dominates over the next few days. It's an easterly wind that prevails through Saturday. We've got bits of fronts just rotating around. One zone which is likely to extend into central southern Scotland from northern England on Saturday morning. The northern half of Scotland comparatively drier, but with an easterly wind and a damp atmosphere, not a low cloud across the eastern half of the highlands and pretty murky across the lakes and the Pennines where that front is around as well. Cloud bases may just tend to lift a bit as the day is going on from the south across the Pennines and there'll be some bursts of rain rotating into Wales associated with the front and the centre of low pressure which is away towards the southwest. By the time we get to Sunday, the next little feature rotating in off the North Sea is moving into eastern Scotland. It looks as though some rain will set in quite heavy here for a spell through Sunday. It may set in for a good many hours during the daytime, but just watch the details of this one. Not absolutely set in stone, the final track of that zone of rain, but it's likely to come into eastern Scotland at least. Western side of Scotland, comparatively drier. One or two showers, though, may get going through the course of the daytime. And a few hit and miss bursts of rain across the lakes, the Pennines and into Wales too. Maybe a greater risk across Wales, just where there's a trough of low pressure in existence. So some locally thundery downpours are possible. The wind looking lighter on the whole, although still a brisk easterly across northern Scotland. Very slack pressure then exists as we start the new week. Not a great time to be a forecaster because local variation and detail will all be at the mercy of just exactly where the centre of low pressure is, bits of old troughs and fronts that are rotating around the low. But in general, we can say that it's an unstable, humid atmosphere. So there's the risk almost pretty much down the spine of the country that some heavy downpours will break out through the course of Monday daytime. One or two areas of rain and drizzle may be around from early in the morning, some very low cloud and murk across many of the hills. That may just lift and break a little bit, but once rain develops, that cloud will form to low levels once again in ragged layers across the hills. Risk of a thunderstorm then across uh, some areas through Monday afternoon so just be aware of that one. Similar sort of situation on Tuesday. If anything, the centre of low pressure is just starting to drag itself away a little bit further eastwards, and that will be an ongoing theme, I think, through the middle of the week. But we're still stuck with a humid, unstable atmosphere. So once again, really down the spine of Britain, from the central highlands down into the Pennines and Lake District, perhaps, and also across the inland hills of Wales, that risk of some slow moving torrential downpours with hail and thunder in the forecast. There could be local variations just from almost one valley to the next in terms of where the heaviest of these bursts of rain form. Locally, you may escape, but locally, you may get torrential rain lasting for several hours.
That process of dragging that area of low pressure away continues into the middle of the week and we've still got a few residual showers I suspect. It looks as though high pressure is starting to build in from the Atlantic so suppressing the showers for Scotland. One or two drifting perhaps in from the northeast across England and Wales just as that wind flow just picks up a little bit as a northeasterly it looks like by this stage. The cold front which is just passing to the north of Britain may start to introduce some fresher air into northern Scotland but otherwise it's still quite a humid atmosphere that exists across uh, much of the British Isles with daytime temperatures getting into the low 20s particularly where any sunshine breaks through. In terms of the rest of the week just taking you on beyond Wednesday that ridge of high pressure is likely to be in for a day or so we're then just watching how quickly the next area of low pressure over the Atlantic starts to make some inroads it may be that that passes more or less to the northwest of Scotland and doesn't have uh, too much of a role to play with our patterns but it could just bring some low cloud and patchy rain to western Scotland Thursday into Friday whilst that ridge of high pressure extends across many areas of uh, southern Scotland, England and Wales through Friday and onwards towards next weekend. Indications favour that centering somewhere around the North Sea as we go towards uh, Saturday and low pressure staying further out toward the west and with that still drawing in a warm air mass from the south so temperatures still on the uh, warm and perhaps humid side maybe less humid than in the short term and it's all going to depend just how things then move around in the pressure patterns as to the outlook into the later stages of June. Some indications keep high pressure nearby others drag the Atlantic westerly back in for something a bit more changeable. Washing Steps Day every day on our website with all your local details and we'll have the next video online for you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.